Well, the Muppets are back. They're gonna do a sequel, and they're gonna do it all over again. Muppets Most Wanted. Hey everyone, this is Oscar the Movie Guy D. Today I'm here to give you my movie review of the new Muppets film called Muppets Most Wanted. This movie is directed by James Bobin and it stars uh, Ricky Gervais, Tina Fey, Ty Burnell, Kermit the Frog, Walter, Fozzie Bear, Scooter, Miss Piggy, and all the other Muppets we all know and love. Okay, so the story for this movie is about the movie. First of all, it takes place right after the first one. Like when the opening, like it says the, the end, and it goes back to the first one at the ending. And they're trying to come up with a sequel, like ideas. And then all of a sudden, Ricky's character, Dominic Bad Guy, who com comes up with the idea of doing a world tour. They only do that because Dominic's sidekick or partner named Constantine, which is the world's most dangerous frog and criminal, who, it, who escapes from his own prison and, you know, Kermit has been having an argument with his own gay. He takes for a walk. Constantine, like, he goes, he glues, like, a little black mole on Kermit the Frog's face. And people think, that's Constantine. But it's actually not. And the real Kermit the Frog is in jail while Constantine is replaced. And things can go pretty bad if Constantine... Can take over. Okay, so let me just say that this was my first premiere. Yep, that's it, first premiere. Because usually I see movies on a weekend or I wait one or two months to see it, but I was super excited to see it. I even saw the premiere the day before it came out at 9 35. And let me just say, my best most wanted is really, really. Good. It it's not a disappointment. It's it's really fun. Second time in a row, I saw a really great movie. First was like a movie. Now it's my best was wanted. Okay, the acting is pretty good. I mean, Ricky Gervais as Dominic, he does a pretty good job with his character. By the way, I just say he's a villain, but that's not really a spoiler because you really see it in the trailer. And if you read the plot summary, it give it away. And also the acting from Tina Fey as a guard from the prison. She's pretty smart. I mean, she's likable. Her acting is good. I mean, I wonder how she keeps up with her accent. I'm very curious about that. The same thing with Ty Burrell as a DEA or CIA cop who has a pretty good accent. You see, Tina Fey and Ty Burrell both have accents in this movie. I wonder how they do it. I mean, was it easy? Was it hard? Very curious for that. It's well written. It's original. And it kind of parodies the, the film, which is not a problem because they do it right. For the first time ever. Yeah. Like, I fell in love with the first song. We're, we're doing a sequel. Oh my god, I was loving the film. And I, I, I love all the other songs. I'm not gonna lie. One or two songs were decent. Two of them was good, but I love the rest. And honestly, I really want a third Muppet movie. Hopefully Disney can do that in two or three years. Oh no, we'll see. Depends how it does in the box office. 
And also, I had a great theater experience. It was just us and for the people. Which is, this is the best movie theater, movie theater experience in a kids movie I have ever had. When I go to kids movies, it's annoying. Too many kids talking, crying. Pretty immature, but this was peaceful. And I thank you for that. Script, amazing. Cameos, there are a lot of cameos. Like Christoph Waltz, Sam Hayek, Usher. Let's see what else. Yeah, I think that's it. I don't know why I say a lot. Anyway, I'm going to give the M Muppets Most Wanted an A minus. So yeah, I uh, hope I hope you guys enjoy this movie review for the Muppets Most Wanted. Have you guys seen the premiere or have you seen it at all? What do you think of it? Leave the comments down below. Like. Subscribe, rate, and I'll see you guys later.